While there are plenty of players in the thriving compact crossover segment, only the 2017 Ford Escape offers consumers their choice of three four-cylinder engine options, all paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. The powertrain trifecta starts with the naturally aspirated 168 horsepower 2.5-liter inline 4, which comes only in the base front-wheel drive Escape S, a configuration that we'd recommend skipping. Next up is the turbocharged 179 horsepower 1.5-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder that comes standard in the 2017 Escape SE and Titanium trims, and both of which offer all-wheel drive. Things escalate quickly from there, with Ford giving SE and Titanium buyers the opportunity to add a tidy 66 horsepower by checking the $1,295 option box for the turbocharged 2.0-liter EcoBoost 4, as on the 2017 Ford Escape Titanium tested here. Almost, king of the compact crossover hill. Rated at 245 horsepower and 275 pounds to foot of twist, the EcoBoost 2.0 liter sits near the top of four-cylinder compact crossover power ratings. Only the Subaru Forester with the optional 2.0 liter turbo tops it, putting down five more ponies for a total of 250 horsepower. Torque is a different story, with the Subi's 258 pounds to foot falling 17 notches short of the Escape. Although the optional naturally aspirated V6 engines in the Jeep Cherokee, Chevrolet Equinox, and GMC Terrain top the 2.0-liter EcoBoost in horsepower, they fall just short of its torque figure. To compare apples to slightly smaller apples, the 2.0-liter EcoBoost in our all-wheel drive escape titanium made sauce of the numbers posted earlier by a front-wheel drive 2017 escape titanium with the 1.5-liter EcoBoost engine. With a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 7.1 seconds and a quarter mile run of 15.6 seconds, the 2.0 liter shave 2.1 and 1.3 seconds off the 9.2 and 16.9 second times returned by the lighter, two wheel drive, 1.5 liter escape. Among the four cylinder competition, only the aforementioned Subaru Forester with its 2.0-liter turbocharged flat 4 manages to outrun this escape, reaching 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and completing the quarter in 15 seconds flat. The 2.0-liter EcoBoost's horsepower superiority pays dividends in towing, where it's rated to haul 3,500 pounds, the 1.5-liter EcoBoost is rated for 2,000 pounds, and the base 2.54-cylinder can tug only 1,500 pounds. This statistical shakedown is not to whet the appetite of power-crazed suburbanites, but rather to illustrate what the $1,295 price premium for the 2.0-liter EcoBoost brings to the table. Yet Ford's upcharge for the 2.0-liter's extra hustle doesn't stop at the dealer, in addition to that, Ford recommends, as it does with the 1.5-liter EcoBoost, that you feed the 2.0-liter engine a steady diet of premium fuel for maximum performance, and you'll be buying more of it. The Escape with the bigger EcoBoost is EPA rated at 20 27ths of a mile per gallon city, highway, but we could squeeze only 19 miles per gallon from it over 500 miles, even with the standard stop, start system doing its shutdown routine. Did we dip into its meaty, all-hands-on-deck torque more frequently than the average driver? Definitely. For reference, that's 5 miles per gallon less than the 24 miles per gallon we earned in its 264-pound lighter doppelganger with the 1.5-liter EcoBoost engine and front-wheel drive. In our real-world highway fuel economy test, Run at a steady 75 miles per hour, the Escape 2.0T achieved 26 miles per gallon, a single MPG below its CPA highway rating.
drift away.